Yo dog, Kenny Boucher here, Next Level Painting. Hit you up on Tuesday with a studio update. As you can see, I'm deep into the Beats Laboratory, dropping some fresh beats. Uh, I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing with the Night Titan uh, conversion, uh, the Chaos Team Night Titan. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, today I did um, some, of the, some of the sword effects, and I wanted to just give you guys a sneak peek to the tutorial that I'll be doing about them. So I just got really excited, wanted to show you guys what I was working on. Uh, I, I did a cool crossfade effect. Uh, you know, I haven't done that for you guys yet, so, you know, hopefully it helps you guys. I do plan on doing a sponging video this week, a tips and tactics video this week about chaos. Some of the things I've been doing with Imperial Armor 13 and just basic uh, codex chaos base rings. Additionally, I think uh, part two of the L's video is going to drop, so... That's great. It'll drop tomorrow, probably around 2.30. So without any further ado, let me let you guys check out this video I made for you guys real quick. All right, guys, let's jump right into it. Masking tape. I'm going to just simply tape off the hilt, all the cool stuff I've done, all the little details. Don't want to get too, um, too crazy here. It's not necessary. Uh, as a matter of fact, you probably could just use, you know, any old thing, piece of paper, putty. I mean, I just, I'm gonna use paper and tape just to show you guys that I can do both. <laughs> um, so, the, so the thing here that you wanna be careful of is like, no matter how little the piece is, you might get, you know, oversprays the thing. So just however much you think you need to block out, double that. Cause you'll all, you always end up messing it up by the way just words of wisdom you know what I'm saying <laughs> so anyway the first step of this is gonna be really easy we're just gonna lay down meridian blue which is one of my favorite colors from p3 it's like an OG hawk turquoise color you gonna just lay it down super thick I'm gonna lay it down over black because the black helps the helps me get the darkest you know possible uh, turquoise effect out of here You'll see here in the video, I'm kind of hesitant, like I'm not just laying it down like I normally do. That's because at this stage, I'm not quite sure which crossfade effect I'm going to utilize. Like if I'm going to do light to dark, dark to light, what side of the blade, I'm, I'm still kind of thinking it over as, I, as I'm spraying it on. Uh, normal, just just lay it down. Like, I mean, what I, what, what I ended up deciding uh, I was going to do would have just been easier just to lay it down from the beginning, which now you see I'm actually making that decision here. I lay it down. The next thing we're gonna do, snag up that arcane blue, which is one of my favorite uh, colors as well. I'm gonna use that to highlight what we just did with the meridian blue. Now highlighting, you'll see I'm gonna do the top, it's gonna be light and the bottom's gonna be light, but only on one side. I'm not wasting time because I'm gonna do that crossfade. Whatever I do on like that side of the blade, it's gonna be the, the reverse on the other side. So I'm just blending in a nice subtle transition, light, dark, then light really easy. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab some of that dead white, the new uh, Vallejo Game Air. We're going to mix it in about 50-50 with the Arcane Blue. And I'm just going to burn those tips out a little bit more on the top and on the bottom, not in the middle. As I said, it's it's an interesting effect. It's going from transitioning from light to dark back to light. That's just the effect I'm going for. Real simple. Now we're going to go pull out that dead white again for some pure white action. Like as I always say, Make sure that your tip is clean. Keep your little toothbrush handy. Maybe drop a little bit extra white in the pot. Because white, white is a bitch, man. It can, it can, it can really just mess your, your whole day up. So take your time. Nurture it. Don't just blast it on. Feather it into that pure white to get that totally crisp sheen. That's the effect we're going for. This is, remember, this is you're supposed to be making something look like it's shiny metal blue without painting it shiny metal. So metal oftentimes only looks metal because it has incredibly pure white uh, transitions. Now the black. We're gonna have to go back into that center void that I was telling you about. Like you'll see what I mean by going light, dark, back to light. Right now, you'll see the center is dark. But only on that one side, like I said, we're gonna whatever we do on this side of the blade, it's flip side on the other side. So there it is. That's kind of the effect we're going for. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal coat this. I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit. 
Then I'm gonna lay this masking tape down on it. Now what we're doing, was, what we masked off was the thing we just did, all that painting. What, everything we just did, I'm doing it again in reverse. So the center will be light and the, and the tips will be dark. It's, it's a very simple concept to understand. Like, this is not the only way to blend uh, this crossfade. Sometimes I go literally light to dark, no light dark back to light. And then on the other side, I do the reverse. Sometimes I just go light to dark on both sides of the blade. And honestly, I think that would have been the best look here, but I really got caught up in doing the crossfade the OG way. And as you can see now, I'm back into mixing the uh, dead white in 50-50 with the uh, arcane blue, I think. So I'm creating that radial burst out of the center. Maybe that's just pure arcane. Uh, so we're, yeah, we're, burnt, we're sunbursting out of the center. And it's a cool effect, as you can see. Like, it does look cool. The brighter it gets. Here's that pure white. Like I was saying, it's just looking super poppy. So after this, we're going to peel the tape off very carefully and take a look at what we have. And it should look pretty neat. But, um, I'm oh, sorry, I got ahead of myself. Still got to do the black. Got to get that extreme contrast, that transition, that super hard black transition to the white. Um, after this stage, we will gently pull off the, the masking tape and see what we have. And like I said, I think it's cool looking, but I think I should have gone just to the traditional burnout on, on the tips because of the weird die cut nature of this blade. This blade is, might not be optimized for it, but I don't, I mean, I'm not unsatisfied with it. So here you go. You see there, my problem is that center void. See, I painted black now, just to give you some more contrast. Uh, and I'm gonna paint some of the servo ligaments in there, like some of those like power weapon pieces. I'm gonna paint those pure gold, as you can see. Now it's starting to, now it's starting to look a little bit more like how I want it to. It's not quite there yet. So I start edge highlighting the, the white back in. And now you're getting that total effect I'm looking for. That's, that's how I envision it. Very simple, man. Like that, it pro that process took me maybe including dry times, 30 minutes to do that whole thing. And like, you could never do that with a paintbrush. Impossible. Well, guys, thanks for watching this. I'll hit you guys back. Now that you guys have checked that out, hopefully um, some of the, the inner workings of that crossfade effect uh, with the tape and everything is more attainable. Real simple. Like I use a couple of really uh, good brands of basket tape from the local hobby stores, etc. cetera. Um, you know, like it's, it's really easy. It's all about taking your time, making sure the seal coat's dry so you don't undo the things you've done. Just want to thank you guys for continuing to subscribe to the page. And I want to continue to thank you all for supporting. Uh, that is so helpful. In the meantime, thanks for watching players.